Well, hello everybody. I'm Joe from IC Group and in today's video I would like to show you how you can change color and font of a data grid row uh, according to the content that is displayed inside the row. Why would you want this? Well, um, let's imagine an ERP solution where you want to display products in red color uh, when they are out of stock or you want to display invoices in red and using a bold font uh, whenever an invoice is overdue. There's many more examples uh, where you want to display rows in different formats, but I think you get the picture. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, what you see here is Visual Studio 2022 and I start with a new VoiceJ web application. The name doesn't matter for now, so let's call it test. Create. It takes a second or two. We don't need this one. We need the page. And what I also need is my error list and I need the toolbox. Okay, from the toolbox I'll search for data grid view, drop that on the form, dock it to the parent container and now uh, we already have the um, uh, data grid display, so uh, all we need is now to fill this with data. So I go back to the page, go to the events, on load event, and this is where I want to fill the grid. But before I do this, I would like to uh, add another class. Uh, call this, uh, for example, data, and fill this with an ID, fill this with uh, a string called, uh, let's say, name. The ID, I want the ID to be an integer. Okay, now I already have my data. What I need now is a data list. So I use a list. List. Also, uh, I need the generics. Data is the class that I want to fill this list with, and I call this data list. Okay. Um, here, I want the data list to be assigned. Data list equals new, and I want to fill it with some data. Uh, oh no, let's, let's do it differently. I, I want to type, uh, I don't want to type everything else, so, so I use a for int equals zero. Uh, that's too much, less than 10, that's fine, gives us 10 rows. And uh, I want to fill the data list with the new data. Let's say ID will be my loop variable and the name will be, uh, let's say, uh, item uh, number, oops, number i. Okay, this should fill my data list. Now what I need is I want to um, assign this data list to the data grid view. So what I'm doing here is data grid view dot data source and I set this to data list. And now let's run the application. And hey, there it is. There's my data list. And I can uh, step around here. But now, what I would like to is whenever um, a row has an equal number, an even number, I want to display it in red. How do I do this? Okay, I go back to the design and to the data grid view, to the events and go to cell formatting. And this is where the magic happens. Uh, what I need now is a reference to the grid, which is a data grid view, of course, data grid view, and sender is the grid. So now I have the grid. What else do I need? Uh, what we have here is events. Let's see what is inside the events. So what I see here is, first of all, cell style. That's the one that I will use uh, for um, changing fonts and colors. 
uh, but I also have uh, a column index and I have the row index. So first of all, I have to start with the condition. So if my grid at the position, column index would be the first column and um, the row index would be the one from the event arcs. This one has a value and the value is of type integer. You see here we have used the integer type. Integer. So now we have a value and if this is modular 2 equals 0, meaning it's even, then I want to do something. So what do I want to do? I want to change the cell style. So e dot cell style dot and there's a lot of things that I can change, for example the four color. And what what I'm doing here is that's all garbage here. I put this in the users clause and I want the red color. Okay, I think this is pretty much easy to understand. The cell style of this row has to be displayed in red whenever it happens to uh, display an even grid row. Let's show, let's see how this is uh, displayed at runtime. So you see every second row is displayed in red. And also when it's selected, it's also displayed in red. So how do I use the, how do I change the font? Uh, my first idea could be to use cell style dot font, but unfortunately font is read only. Not font is read only, but the style is read only. Okay, so you see it does not have a setter um, accessor, only the get one. So what I do, I have to assign a new font. Equals new font and I need a prototype so I will use the font of the form and a new style which is font style dot bold. Okay now that, let's run the application and who would have thought red and bold every second row. So that is that is how you uh, style the rows of your data grid. I think it's pretty easy, pretty pretty much uh, straightforward. Uh, what I would recommend is um, this is called a lot of times when it, the row uh, when the data grid is uh, displayed. So I would uh, create a cell style object that I can simply assign here. Assigning a global font that uh, is only created once uh, has performance and memory uh, advantages, so I would use that. Um, you can have a global static class where you define all the cell styles that you use everywhere in your application. And whenever you have a very special cell style that you is used only on one of your forms, you can uh, this, you can create the cell style inside this form only. Okay, so I hope you like this video. That's all for today, uh, and see you next time. Bye bye.